The aerosol can or bottle with the new valve called Aquasol will look just like the standard containers which now use fluorocarbons as the propellant. But a different gas, a hydrocarbon, will now be used and it's not dangerous to the atmosphere. Unlike the old method in which the gas was mixed with the product in the container, the hydrocarbon is in a layer on top. This means less propellant will be needed to dispense the liquid and that results in a cost saving for the manufacturer. This also means the product will be discharged as a fine, dry mist, which will allow the consumer to get more use from the spray, since less of it will be required during an application. Plus, the dry spray will eliminate the beating and the wet look common with fluorocarbon aerosols. Also, water instead of alcohol is used in the product mix. This makes the new spray non-flammable. Alcohol-based sprays used now actually increase the intensity of the fire. Robert Aplanalp, the inventor of both the old and the new valves, sees broad new innovative uses for aerosols, including spray coffee, water-based paints, and medical products. The possibility exists in the future that the diabetic may be able to ingest insulin through the lung because of the particle size and structure of, uh, of, of this uh, particular spray. He may be able to do something like this, just spray and inhale. And that concept, getting uh, a dosage of insulin ingested through the through the lung system into the bloodstream, which uh, will be a lot simpler than uh, than what they're doing now. As a result of his new invention, Aplanalp sees a virtual end to the fluorocarbon sprays and the controversy about them. Ultimately, he also envisions considerable financial savings both for the manufacturer and the consumer. Mike Siemens, Channel 4 News, Walker Key, The Bahamas. This is fresh water which is used by residents of Walker's Key in the Bahamas. And this is Robert Alpenalp who has discovered how to create it easily from the sea. The longtime friend of former President Nixon and the inventor of the spray valve which revolutionized the aerosol industry 30 years ago needed a way to provide more drinking water for his island community. His prototype desalinization plant cost just $50,000 and in four years he's proved to his satisfaction that seawater can be converted simply and economically. Alplin Alp says it's nothing more than applying old technology in a new way. We're, we're producing the fresh water as a byproduct of the manufacture of electricity. We are grabbing that, uh, that heat. We're, we're picking it up by the movement of, uh, of coolants through the, through the system, and we're transferring it to a position where we can do something with it. What we're doing with it is vaporizing the, uh, the water and uh, converting the steam back to, uh, to fresh water. And all of that is done in the cycle of uh, the manufacture of electricity. We have no fuel costs involved in it, minimal maintenance. There are no, really no moving parts except one pump that, uh, that is the source of, uh, of the seawater. And uh, the only cost involved uh, is the uh, the write-off of, uh, of the installation. Aplin Alp says there is no reason this concept cannot be applied on a larger scale, and he plans to market the desalinization concept next year. It could be an immediate success, because already the Arabs have indicated that they are very interested in it. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News, Walker Key, The Bahamas.